Henry in Michigan writes, I am an audiophile at heart, but for reasons that are far too deep to discuss here. Ooh, secrets. I am limited to consumer grade AV receivers. Okay. Uh, the family likes the theater sound, fun, and likes to listen to music in two channels with all the effects turned off. I have what I consider good speakers and a powered sub. I need to buy a new receiver. In the price range I'm looking at, the amp specs given are limited. Watts per channel and THD is about it. Most of what I'm looking for has a THD of 0.08%. For about $800 more, I can get one with a THD of 0.05%. Simply asked, would I hear a sonic improvement at 0.05 versus 0.08 THD? I did look through your videos for similar questions and I didn't see anything. All right, simple answer, no. You can't hear 0.05, 0.08 THD. That's way below, I mean, point, anything below 0.1, it's gonna be pretty hard to tell. That said, it's never that simple. So unfortunately, you don't have a lot to go on. As you said, these various brands of receiver are giving you wattage and THD. That's not going to tell you much about anything about how the amp actually sounds. So again, the difference between 0.08 and 0.05 THD is meaningless. How you got there what kind of design the amplifier is based on has far more to do with sound quality than anything that they're going to measure. Because we know that amps that measure even identically don't sound identical, not if they're different topologies. So for instance, an amplifier with um, a, a ton of negative feedback with a low slew rate uh, with, uh, you know, I don't, with a poor power supply that measures 0.05 versus a well-designed amplifier with a great power supply, high slew rate, low feedback, and measures 0.05 is going to sound far better than the first one. But you don't know any of that. So, and it's unlikely you're going to get a chance to audition the differences between these in audible terms. So that's a real tough one. Specifically, nope, you won't hear the difference. But differences in designs, I would go with a company that I trusted. That's the best way you can do it. So for instance, I'm not really big on a lot of the overseas brands. Some are good, some aren't. But in your price range, I would go with a company I trusted, like Emotiva. Our friend Dan Lofman owns the company. He's a great engineer. He cares about how things sound. So see if Emotiva has something that you can buy in the price range you're looking for, which they probably do, and don't worry about THD and all that, because that is going to sound good. So go with a brand that you trust, okay? Good luck.